Saltwater input readings. On one. Pumping rate, 530. On two, 438. Check pressures. Pressure normal. Flow rate stable. Fresh water output. On one, 1,000 gallons a minute. On two, 980 per minute. Great. Well, we're coming up for our first 250 hours on service and not a sign of trouble. Shouldn't you cross your fingers, knock on wood or something? I don't see why. These are very advanced water purifying plants. A lot of foreign companies would be very happy if they ran into more trouble. Some of them might even go as far as to make sure they do. Sabotage? To try to stop anybody buying the British plant? It's possible. If anything else goes wrong, I want you to be ready to act immediately. Already an important American order for ten plants is believed to be in danger. <laughs> You're vice president of this company, Mr. Nielsen, but as an engineer, I'd say that our order for the British water purifying plant should be cancelled immediately. You don't believe the sabotage theory. All I know is the plant exploded after only 250 hours in service. It may have been sabotage, I guess, but we can't afford to take the risk. It's my risk, Hartley, not yours. I say we go ahead and buy, unless anything happens to the other experimental plants the British have in operation. Port Trenick and Bogosa. How's the pumping rate? Three five eight on one, four seven six on two. Good. Keep them both around five hundred. Coming up for two hundred and fifty hours. There was no need for you to have flown out from London, sir. My money's on a quiet evening. I wanted to be on the spot, although I'm pretty certain it was sabotage in North Africa. So am I, sir. Unless it was a design fault. Unless the plant does overheat at 250 hours. But this plant's too well guarded for anything to go wrong. Like I said, we're in for a quiet evening. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. We made it. 250 hours.
third and last experimental desalinating plant here in England at Port Trenick. I take it we're working on the basis of sabotage? Yes. The engineers can find nothing at all wrong with the basic design. But there are a lot of foreign companies who would like to slow down British sales of desalination plants. To give them time to catch up themselves? Exactly. And I presume our job is to find out how it's done. I'm sorry, Tom, real sorry. I know how much you personally put into this desalination plant. But you believe it's sabotage. I'm convinced of it. I told my vice president so in New York. And what did he say? His answer was maybe, but he couldn't take the risk. So we've as good as lost your company's order? I'm afraid so, Tom. Will you be shutting down your last plant? No, definitely not. But why not? Because the one slim chance we have of still getting your order is to keep the plant going. Prove it can pass 250 hours with complete safety. Well, the perimeter seems completely protected against infiltration. Yes. First, an electrified wire fence patrolled by mobile guards, an electronic alarm system, and what did you call them? Random infrared checks. Throughout the grounds. It looks foolproof. Then you must be right, Matthew. There is only one way. One crack in the armor, Father. But finding out how they do it is one thing. Stopping them is another. Quite so, Matthew. And for that, we shall need some assistance. Assistance to the undercover team handling this assignment. That's your mission, Blake. But how can I assist them if I don't even know who they are, sir? According to the scheme outlined to me, that won't be necessary. Oh, very well, sir. I've arranged for you to report immediately to Port Trenick desalination plant. I see. I'll be contacted there. No. I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand. What are my instructions? These. And they are to be followed to the letter. First, the cross. Wear it until further orders. Secondly, this capsule, you are to take it at precisely 19.30 hours tomorrow evening. And then? That's all. All? Nothing else? Nothing, except to wish you the best of luck. Equipment all checked, Matthew? Checked and stowed away. All ready then? Yes, Father. Conceal yourself. Excuse me, Father, but I've been looking all over for Matthew. He's gone again. Really? Well, I saw him only a moment ago. If he's not here, I can't think where he can be. Rest assured, Mrs. Appleby, he must be about somewhere. Matthew? Matthew? <laughs> Well, Matthew, I think this will suit us admirably. A lovely spot, don't you think? You forget, Father. My view is slightly limited. Ideal for a picnic, a sandy beach, the dunes, and the sea itself. 
looking particularly peaceful today, I would venture. All clear, take it down. Another sandwich, Matthew. No, thank you, Father. This one's more than enough for me. Ah, Matthew, I was forgetting your diminished stature. More tea, then? If you really think we've got time, Father. All the time in the world, Matthew. All the time in the world. Mr. Blake? Yes, sir. I was warned to expect you. Straight through for the control building. Thank you, Sergeant. Nothing like a well-brewed cup of tea on a hot day, Matthew. You must remember to put an egg cup in the case. Flow rate normal. Pressure stable. Input rate? Normal. How? Oh. Pressure? Everything's as it should be, sure. Temperature. Yes. So far. I'll feel more confident when that clock passes 250 hours tonight. I've doubled the perimeter guards, had all alarm systems rechecked, and this time we've covered everything. I hope. Flood decompression chambers. Open hatches. Tempus fugit, as they say. Well, Matthew, I suppose we must think about getting along. What's the situation? Mission accomplished. Good work. Return to the submarine. We must prepare for stage two. Time check, Matthew. Five, four, three, two, one. 7.29 precisely. Correct. Now remember, the plant registers 250 hours at 8 o'clock this evening. That gives me just half an hour. And just half an hour for whoever's in the water with you. 7.30. In half an hour, we'll know if there's been any sabotage. And there's no technical reason why it shouldn't pass the 250-hour mark safely. This is our last chance. What's wrong with that man? He's collapsed. Get a doctor, quick.
Come in, Matthew. Report progress. I'm following the pipe out to sea. Should reach the mouth any time now. Good work. I'll be leaving here in four minutes. Any sign of opposition? Not so far. But if we're right, they can't be too far away. Initiate decompression procedure. Blood chambers. is dying, Mr. Williams. Dying? Is there nothing to be done? Not by a doctor. I'll do all I can, but what this man needs is a priest. It's uh, 7.45. Time to move on. I may be slightly delayed. Uh, excuse me, I was just pulling onto the road. What have we here? A genuine Model T. What year is it? 1917. Uh, I'm delighted to see you're an enthusiast too, sir, but I'm in a terrible hurry. Hang on, old boy. The headlamps. Well, surely they're not authentic. Oh, yes, they are. You'll find that Metrix is so which Henry Ford did use it of that. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, uh, well, you see the colour. That's wrong. Any colour, just as long as it's black, old Henry Ford used to say. Now, I must insist, sir, when you're putting a finger load on whatever your mission threat for this and guiding people out does, this is always a moment the eye bold, right? Well, I was just pointing out. Always enjoying the time for a chat, but must strictly have on the mission load of that. Oh, yes. Hey. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ten minutes to go, sir. How long for your patient, Doctor? It's hard to say. He's not responding. Sure. Get onto the gate, please. Redouble their efforts to find a priest. Right away, sir. I thought all hospitals had priests. No, we've got a doctor. We've got several, as a matter of fact. What we want is a priest. Anyone at home? No, no, you don't understand. I haven't lost a priest. I'm trying to find one. Uh, excuse me, uh, anyone there? Will you hold on a moment? This is urgent. I just wanted to know if I was right for Port Trenick. Straight on. Left at the crossroads. Thank you, my son. Yes, a priest I was asking about. That's a, a priest. A priest? A father? One minute, father. Did you want me for something, my son? Position. Approaching target. Course true. Estimated release 60 seconds. Hurry, Father. There's not much time. I'd like complete seclusion, please. Matthew, are you hearing me, Matthew? Transmit message. Are you in position? In position, Father. And I think something's happening. Matthew, can you get it out of the pipeline? Not unless the inflow of water is turned off. The pumps are too strong. Gentlemen, I have a request. 
Anything you need, Father, just let us know. In that case, will you kindly arrange to shut down the pumps? The pumps? What have they got to do with it? Time short, Father. I've got to have those pumps shut down. Gentlemen, I promised you I've just had a warning. A premonition, if you like, concerning an explosion. Is he mad? Maybe, but we can't risk it. Look at the dial. It's no good, Father. I can't shift it. Don't take risks, Matthew. Swim clear. We've already saved the plant. If necessary, the pipe can be repaired. He couldn't have known. It's too much of a coincidence. Shut down the pumps. Number one, pump closed, sir. Number two, pump closed, sir. Number three, closed, sir. Number four, closed. All pumps closed, sir. Ten seconds. Seven. Six. Father, how did you know? How does one ever know, my son? How do you explain that? I... I don't believe it. I think they're coming up now, Father. Perhaps you can arrange a reception committee? All taken care of, Matthew. I still don't believe it. Half an hour ago, this man was on the point of death. It's incredible. Now his breathing and his pulse rate are back to normal. It's... it's a miracle. Do it, 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 do it,